Lips are hard. <laughs> Needs eyelids and lips. <laughs> I think that one's cute. My name is Natalie Sidesurf. I am a cake artist and I am going to react to cake fails and some wins. Let's get going. <laughs> He has no clue what's going on here. <laughs> she does. When you stack a tall, large cake like this one, the weight of the top layers can smush the bottom layers. So what cake decorators do is they put a cake board in the middle and that supports the top layers. So this is basically a cake on top of a cake and then the outside is decorated to make it look like one giant cake. She just went in with her hands and picked it up, and pulled it right off. <laughs> she is on a mission to serve those guests. No time to waste. That is so many candles. There's no way that woman is that many candles old. Smoke alarm's going off. <laughs> She's bringing in backup. She's got somebody trying to help her out. It just won't go out. It was all a cute, funny joke until the kitchen's on fire. <laughs> all right, there you go. She figured it out. The wet towel worked. That's starting to get a little dangerous. I don't think I'd want a slice of that cake after all that. That's big. This woman's just coming up behind that thing? What's going on? Oh, it's a cake dress. I was so confused. She's just hanging out in her cake dress and everybody's just eating the skirt. What a unique experience. So this is the Guinness Book of World Records largest wearable cake dress. Who knew that was a category? <laughs> okay, so now I want to make a giant cake dress. What if she's got to go to the bathroom? Oh, we've got a jigsaw. We're busting out the power tools. Okay, so we've got an orange ball and the, ah, tentacles. Ah, it's an octopus. He's holding up the cake. That cake is secure. <laughs> you can tell it isn't moving. This is the perfect example of a well-built structure for a cake. When you see one of these crazy gravity-defying cakes, there's all of this work that goes into it. Planning and building the structure alone can take days. And all that work was totally worth it. I mean, look at that cake. It is so cute. No way. <laughs> he was not very gentle with that. <laughs> This is a very controversial topic in the world of wedding cakes. Do you think it's okay to smash cake in your spouse's face? Or not? I consider myself a hilarious ball of fun for the most part, but I am not into the idea of cake covering my entire face on my wedding day. Just, I, don't, I don't know, I don't, want, I don't want any of that. That groom was like, You married me cause I'm wild. Then shoved it in her face. Hopefully they're still married. All right, so he's kind of twisting a piping bag, painting the corner of it with pinks and greens. Oh, he's pressing it onto the side of the cake. Oh my goodness, what? Look at those little roses. I have never seen anything like that. What a great idea. That technique is cool. I wonder how he figured that out. <laughs> was a pretty cake. You know, that is a cake box with an appropriate sized cake inside of it. That handle should not have broken. This is, I blame the box. Handles are meant to be handled. We've all learned a lesson today. Do not trust handles, ever. It really is sad. That was a nice cake. I don't know about this one. This woman is a guest at her friend's wedding and she claims that she thought that they forgot to serve the wedding cake so she just went in and cut herself a slice. Bruh. It's possible that she didn't know that the first people to cut the cake are typically the bride and groom, but I don't know. I don't know about this one. This one's a little fishy. I would have gone home early. Looks like the MC's chatting it up. <laughs> he knocked over the cake. It's destroyed. Everybody's laughing. At least they're good sports. <laughs> oh my. I mean, what else do you do? Accidents happen. Okay, so she is piping pink buttercream into a mold. Placing the cupcake on top. Flipping it over. It's a little brain. I love that. People come up with such clever techniques. It actually doesn't look very hard to do, and it ended up looking awesome. 
Looks like we've got a cat here. Is that all buttercream? How is it so smooth? That whole cake is made out of buttercream. It's so smooth. I sound like a crazy person right now. It's really hard to express how difficult this is. The reason why most cakes are covered in fondant or modeling chocolate is because buttercream is really, really hard to smooth. That cake is so clean. This is like really, really impressive. I can't believe that's all buttercream. I'm blown away. Okay, so he's making a fall-themed cake for his mom's birthday. He's going for a realistic. That pumpkin is already cute. Ah, he's got like a wooden texture on the bottom tier. Very fall. He's painting the pumpkin a brighter orange, so it's adding some depth. Definitely more realistic. And crushed cookie dirt. Nice touch. And some nice flowers add some color on the outside. I like it. He said his mom loved the cake. That is so nice. It definitely looks realistic. That is a really, really nice cake. The perfect birthday cake for a mom. Okay, so she's stacking different flavored cakes. We got a big tower happening. It's looking clean, looking good. Spreading chocolate out, making little maybe windows or doors. There's a lot of techniques going on here. Oh, cool. It's a lighthouse. That is a really, really great cake. The color just like ugh, makes it pop. Tall, skinny cakes are always tricky. You can get leaning or it could just fall over altogether. So she did a great job. That is just a very nice cake. I enjoyed that. I made this reaction video because I am pregnant and it is getting pretty hard to move around, which makes making cakes a little difficult. I promise I'm gonna get back to making hyper-realistic cakes. This is just a little break. Let me know you liked this video by giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new cake almost every week and I'll see you next week for another video.